Welcome back everybody, this is Rodrigo Fondo with another episode of Asheville Real Estate News. Today's episode 64 and uh, really excited. We are diving into an issue that happens to be so controversial uh, today in Asheville that our guests, we are gonna be protecting their identity so that they're able to speak freely and give their opinions on this. We'd love to hear what your all's thoughts, reactions are to this topic. This topic that is short-term rental, specifically the homestay, uh, permit or variation of the full house rental that's going on. If you've been following, you know, city hall uh, meetings and whatnot, it's been something that's been on the agenda, off the agenda, on the agenda, off the agenda, because there continues to be so many tweaks and variations to the rules and different hoops that anybody who has a homestay needs to continue to jump through. So we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to explore just how, you know, being creative in real estate can unlock certain doors for you that you might not have thought even existed. So to, without further ado, help welcome my guest, Miss Smith. How's it going? I am well, thank you for having me. Good, well, uh, really excited to, to sit down and chat with you. Uh, listen to you talk about your experience with short-term rentals. I guess it was almost a year ago. And I remember being like so excited. I was like, I'm totally going to do short-term rentals. Like add that to what we do. And I walked away from that forum being like, I don't know. It seems like a lot of work and not the type of work that I would want to necessarily tackle. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing it? And is it still fun? Almost two years. And yeah, it's a lot yeah. of fun. I mean, it's, it's a job. It's a business. Mm -hmm. But it's a good business. It's a business that I enjoy doing. I feel that it is, it's my thing. It's, right. it's my business. Mm -hmm. I'm not working for someone else's dreams. I'm working for mine. Right. And that's very important to me. And yeah. so this allows me to to do that, mm -hmm. you know, to make an income, to, to work for myself, to do it on my own terms, right. in my own home. And yeah. I, I really like that. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it's kind of adds more to everything else that you do, right? With that backdrop that you, you've got it going on, you're working for yourself, you're kind of building things for yourself. And exactly. When we first met, I think it was what, four years ago maybe? Three mm -hmm. years ago? You This was not even on your radar, right? No. As far I, as doing like short-term rentals or home right. stays? I think that the, I had a son, he's off mm -hmm. to college. Yeah. And once the house sort of opened up in that kind of a way, I thought, well, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, try to make an additional income right. from it. And um, that's what I've been doing and it's been great. Cool. So four years ago or whatever, when we met, tell us how you got to Asheville and then how long I've has real here, estate been something that you've been intrigued in or playing around with? Probably since we met, probably okay. about the three or four years mm -hmm. where I've been doing that. I've been in Asheville for 15 years. So I've been here for a while and I've, I'd heard about Airbnbs. I knew about mm -hmm. Airbnbs. Um, I recently launched another business, and so this doing Airbnb really allows me the opportunity and the freedom mm -hmm. and some of the income to launch another business, because as you know, it right. takes money to launch a business. Yeah. So this is an internet-based business, and I get to you know, focus on mm -hmm. that, and I'm really glad and, and, and grateful for that. And like I said, when he went to college, it was just the opportunity and the timing was right mm -hmm. to just take that leap eh? to take that leap yeah. and to to do something again it's it's it being internet based is just i just i love the their airbnb's platform i know right. there's others out there but but airbnb is the one that mm -hmm. you know that i'm very fond of yeah so let's talk a little bit about real estate in general so what were you doing before or are you still doing it now and why did you decide to explore real estate as you know as an investment job whatever you want to call it Actually, I don't know much about real estate and I'm learning in the last mm -hmm. couple of years I've been learning and right. I haven't, you know, actually like taken that leap and other than Airbnb mm -hmm. and into other aspects of, right. of real estate, but I absolutely want to and I continue to educate myself. Right. But I actually one um, a couple of years ago, I was looking for like a meet on. I wanted right. to just get out and meet people. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing that and looking through the listings, I saw mm -hmm. and I thought, you know what, why not meet people? and learn something at the same time. Right. So that is how I started doing mm -hmm. it and I actually lead a group yep. and you know and I'm 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 fairly involved mm -hmm. in the organization, right. the Korea organization and I love it and I love the people mm -hmm. that I meet and everyone is so generous of spirit yeah. and just yeah, just the other day I was listening to my speaker talking about, you know, how to do real estate on a budget. Right. You should talk to him. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. And um, yeah, he's it was it was an awesome mm -hmm. presentation that he did. And so it's it's definitely something that I want to do. And you know, having doing but the you area, are doing it though, right? I am like, doing I mean, it. You're doing a facet that I would say has become way more popular, obviously, over the last two three years. And that model that you're you know doing, it's um, I mean, it's really different. Like five years ago, ten years ago, that didn't even exist. And one of the things, you know, I mean, I know that there's there are so many people doing it now mm -hmm. and, you know, in the neighborhoods and everything right. that obviously it cuts into the pie. But I don't mind. Yeah. I don't I, I understand why people do it, because that's the reason yeah. I do it. They do it for the same reasons that I do it. They need the income. Mm -hmm. They have a family. They're trying to support themselves. They're, they this is a very expensive right. town to live in the taxes. So I would never mm -hmm. begrudge someone for opening up an Airbnb space. And that is all that I'm asking of just the, you know, yeah. the city in general. Stop begrudging us trying to make a to make it work to make a living and make yeah. it work and the the pie is definitely more divided up but that's just the way it is but it's all, the pie's also gotten bigger right and and the, and the pie's gotten bigger yeah. and it's just you know we we all want our bit i don't you know the yeah. hotels want to come in and make their money and so they should mm -hmm. you know but does that mean that we need to be you know further and squeezed. further <laughs> basically squeezed out and right. when i say squeezed out for many of us, including myself, I'm not talking about just being squeezed out of being able to do Airbnb. I'm talking about being squeezed out of make, living in right. this town. It can be the difference about whether you have to move or not. Yes. Right? I mean, I don't want to have to, to. I love it here mm -hmm. and I want to stay here and I want to help make this a beautiful, the, you know, continue yeah, making it. Being a contributing to, member of the community. A contributing mm -hmm. member to a fabulous community. Yeah. Well, let's take a step back. I do want to get into the city. What was it like when you first decided to you know, open up a room and then your second room for Airbnb. Um, what was the tipping point where you're like, okay, I'm doing this, I'm in, let's see what happens. Um, my son was going to college. Mm -hmm. His, um, the person who was living downstairs, which mm -hmm. was, you know, um, moved out. And so all of a sudden the space was available and open and it was like, okay, what do I do now? Right. And so it was just one of those things where I had, it was in the back of my mind to mm -hmm. do it. A lot of people were like, oh, you're crazy. Don't do that. Yeah. But um, I just knew that I wanted to do mm -hmm. it and that I, I'd heard enough about it and, and, so just, and knew that it was becoming more and more acceptable, mm -hmm. even just culturally, right. kind of like Starbucks, you know, mm -hmm. first everyone was like, <laughs> who's going to pay five bucks for a cup of coffee? And now, you know, it's, it's what do they call that? It's it's um it's everywhere. Yeah, it's been and normalized. It's it's been normalized, and I think that that's the same thing with Airbnb. I mean, mm -hmm. if you you it's normalized. Right. We're all doing it. It's it's not going anywhere, mm -hmm. and that's where you know I really feel that you know cities, communities, everybody needs to just wrap their head around something that's just not going away. So you you took that leap of faith, and I'm sure there was some ups and downs in the beginning, right? As you figured things out, mm -hmm. do you remember where there was a point where it was just validating? We're like, okay, this is good. This is working. This is, and it just confirmed your intuition to take the leap. Yeah, the fact that um, that it that it was working, that it mm -hmm. was something that I was able to to um, to manage. Right. You know, at the time I had a, a, a traditional job. Right. And I was still able to manage it because mm -hmm. you can do it. You know. On your phone. On your phone, like everything else. <laughs> it's my new business on the phone too. No doubt. Um, so. Yeah, so it was just, yeah, it was working. People were coming here, yeah. people were liking it. You know, I was able to, I have a passion mm -hmm. for, you know, just interiors. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to, you know, kind of give make people, it a what, good space, make yeah. it a good space, make it, make it an attractive space. People love to come here and they love to have a different type of experience. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants to stay, you know, in a hotel right. or can even afford to stay yeah. in one of the, you know, the beautiful downtown hotels that we have. And then if you're talking about staying on Tunnel Road or mm -hmm. something like that, you know, they're they're not necessarily beautiful and you're in the middle of a strip, basically. Yeah. They're different to, experiences. It's a totally yeah. different experience. Yeah. Okay, cool. So well, let's talk about this city. Um, how much resistance was there when you first started as far as following regulations and what it is it like now? It was super easy. Yeah. It was super easy. They were super accommodating. I, you know, I appreciate the city. I appreciate everyone in it i my god i wouldn't want their jobs right because i understand what that's like i know that they've got that line and mm -hmm. i don't necessarily have the answers but i just know that something has that we all have to be accommodated right you know and that that it's but it was a very easy process mm -hmm. everyone was very professional and helpful mm -hmm. and and I, that hasn't yeah. changed and what about your neighbors though also 
they're all Airbnb being too. So yeah. yeah, for the most part, <laughs> I'm not kidding. You know, it's true. Right. You know, so, I mean, that's always the thing I've heard is people are like, oh, like the neighbors are all up and you know frustrated because it's. I've never had community. a single problem or, or or comment from a neighbor. Okay. And like I said, many people in this area already also are do also right. are doing it because a lot of people. I mean, literally, we're talking about people who are, you know, their kid is in school and yeah. during during the winter while he's in in his classes yeah. they're airbnb and then they stop in the summer mm -hmm. when he he's, when the child comes home for the summers right. you know right. people you turn on, can turn it on and off exactly yeah. so you can actually make it work for for your lifestyle which is a wonderful thing about right. it because what other job you know because like i said it is a business yeah. and it is a job and i treat it like that right. and i treat it very professionally and with my guests mm -hmm. um but yeah what other job can you say well you know my my child is home for two months I don't think I'll show up now, yeah. <laughs> you know, and here you, you, you know, with this, you have that flexibility. Right. And so the flexibility is nice. And the city is still fabulous. I'm, you know, I mean, in, in regards to my personal experience. Right. With the interactions that you have. But what about the rules? So like, what is like, tell us a little bit about well, what are the different I, hoops you've had to jump through? We call it a moving target. Okay. It's really hard to know from one month to the next mm -hmm. one, you know, meeting to the next what's going to happen. We just went to one mm -hmm. a few months ago. It was all about the sinks. Yeah. You know, m I think over a hundred the size of the sinks or what do you mean the sinks? Everything about the sinks. They, they wanted to wait. They had already taken away. It was already, when I started doing it, it was already a, a rule mm -hmm. that you could not have a cooking, that you couldn't right. have a stove. And so I was like, okay, no problem. Yeah. I, I was going to put in a stove, but if that's the rule, mm -hmm. I'm, that's, I'm fine with that. Right. So I scrapped that and I went with what I had. I went with a yeah. yeah, mini fridge, a microwave, and it, there's a sink. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, so there's a sink in there. And of course, any hotel that you stay at has, has, has those things. It right. has a mini fridge, a microwave, and a sink. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a sink where you're gonna rinse out your yeah. glasses and whatnot. Um, and that was fine. And then this meeting was, they wanted us to take away the sink. They literally wanted people to incur costs, pull out sinks, pull out boxes like the 220 boxes so even telling people that they had in other words now we're talking about possibly thousands of dollars mm -hmm. calling an electrician to tell him to take out your line wow so it was just it was it was bordering on the ridiculous yeah and many people came and and explained that that wasn't feasible <laughs> for them and it seemed like they took that away that they right. you know but And now there's like more wording and now there's other stuff. One of the things that I found the most sort of, for lack of a better word, shocking, mm -hmm. is they want us to sign a legal document every year saying that we do indeed live here, work here, do laundry, cook in our wow. homes. I mean, that's really kind of talk about an overreach. Yeah. I mean, would your... It's, it's, yeah, there's a lot of different little components, like I said, that I don't know exactly what they are, and it's a moving target mm -hmm. and this and that, but I know that there's lots of different um, regulations right. that they just keep wanting to put in. Yeah, and you're, you're involved, right? You communicate a lot with other people who operate very similar homestay, well, Airbnb, there's, right? Well, there are people, yes, and there are people that are way more knowledgeable than mm -hmm. I, and people who are way more, you know, vocal. vocal and who are doing stuff, and I commend and I'm yeah. grateful for how, those people. How big is the group that, you know, that you know of, as far as, you know, you said a bunch of you about showed 150, up. About 150. At least. At least 100, and I, I would say that a, I think about 130 people showed up to the wow. point where we almost had to, like, be moved to another building. And I think that this time around, which was today, it was right. scheduled today at five o'clock, I would. I think there would have been even more people. Really? There would have probably been at least that number, if not more. Wow! Because now you're really you're talking about our livelihoods. Yeah. Many of our livelihoods, and some of, and like I said, and some of the the things that they wanted to put in were like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, kind of ridiculous. But today, but got just yesterday, back. it got pushed back, saying that they want to look at stuff. One of I remember one of the things that um, the person who's very very involved mm -hmm. um, said. The word that he used is. The implications of this are not known. Right. Why they did this, in my own opinion, I think maybe they didn't want to have to deal with 150 people on their doorstep. <laughs> Again. Maybe, maybe, right. maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they're looking at it and want to work with, with us. I mean, I don't begrudge anybody or the city and, mm -hmm. and the work, that, the, fine, the fine work that people do yeah. at those places, you know, and all of the, the different people who have to regulate and mm -hmm. all of that. And like I said, it's, 
um, it's a thankless job, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a thank you. But so of the group of people that, that you're involved with and that you have these conversations with, uh, do you have any feel for how many of them it's, you know, supplemental income versus like it's imperative income? Like if this goes away, how many people are, you know, having to, you know, either move or, you know, go get a job or X, Y, Z versus just being like, oh, well, that sucks. I'm not going to. That would be me. Right. Would, um, so how many people fall into your category that, you know, just. I don't know. Like is that a majority I don't know. or a, I'll, not? I'll, well, you know? I tell you what, I, I'm going to base that question on what I saw right. at the meeting. Perfect. You know, there were 150 people there, mm -hmm. all people who are Airbnb, being, who yeah. have homestays. And people came with their children, you know, little kids. Wow. People were bringing in babies and children. Mm -hmm. And the different things that I heard, you know, everything from being able to, being able to use that space in the way that you want. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things in regards, for instance, in regard right. to having to take out a a 220 line yeah now here we're talking about people living their lives mm -hmm. and uh, people of a certain age yeah. who now at this point in their life they can go ahead and airbnb yeah. but in 10 years they might have an age they have aging parents yeah might have aging parents and now need to live with them and now they had to take out that 220 line and now they have to do it again yeah. so in other words you're putting an, an unnecessary burden mm -hmm. on your citizenry Right. when you're asking them to do that. So I saw a lot of that. The people with children, I'm sure that this allows, children are expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they're expensive and they need shoes and they need schooling and mm -hmm. this would help you, you know, do that and, and even to live here. And it, you know, you want your children to have, to live in a lovely city community. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily do you, does everybody want to live further right. out and have to drive and commute all the time. But I would imagine that that would be quite difficult for people if that income Disappeared. Yeah, it would disappear. And let's put it this way. If you've got a bunch of kids, and I saw people with a lot of kids, yeah. that means one extra room is gone mm -hmm. from your family. Right. But you do it anyway. Because it's... Because of the income. It's either ne because probably it's necessary it's at some It's necessary. Point, right? You're going to, you're gonna you know, take away little Johnny's bedroom and, and, and have him sleep with Billy yeah. in the same room mm -hmm. because that provides... You know, That's gym shoes yeah. for both of you and maybe the difference between taking those music lessons right. or not. And, and mm -hmm. you know, so you're able to provide, give your children something that you, you, you possibly couldn't have. Yeah. And let's face it, both parents are already working. Mm -hmm. And so this allows you to have less, you know, more, yeah. some income without variable. putting in, without putting in a whole lot of like, you know, extra time. Yeah, it's not without finding you know, you don't have to job go out, or whatnot, which, et cetera. Uh, which is I mean, not... it is one, but it's very different when you can do it from the couch or your kitchen and make mm -hmm. this happen and stay home, right? Versus having to be out somewhere or whatnot. So. And I also think, too, that for many people, too, we're talking about not just our income, mm -hmm. the income of the person Airbnb, being, what about the person who, who cleans it yeah. possibly for you? Yeah. You know, they depend on that, yeah. you know, so we, you know, we're it's employing, space, we're yeah. employing people mm -hmm. to come in and and help us manage it especially the people who have other jobs right you know their you, space might turn you don't do it full time yes and well and those their yeah. space might turn on a tuesday and you're at work yeah well what would, what do you feel like the temperament was from city council then that at that last at meeting? That meeting yeah did they seem did you walk away feeling encouraged concerned worried what was your personal i thought at the time encouraged okay i felt and like it how do you feel now then now i feel a little bit concerned yeah because now it's again it's a you know all these other rules came in and mm -hmm. i kind of had thought like oh i thought we kind of took care of that and mm -hmm. now here it's kind of resurfacing again and not only is it resurfacing again yeah. it's resurfacing with you know several other rules and regulations some wow. of which are bordering on the ridiculous on it yeah and but i felt also compassion yeah for for the city and the job mm -hmm. that they have to do. Mm -hmm. And so, you know. It's a tough one, isn't it? It is, it is. I know you're not necessarily leading the organization or the group of people who are kind of part of that, but if somebody is listening to this or watching this and they want to advocate mm -hmm. and be like, yeah, no, this is important. Is there a way for them to reach out to somebody or what's the best way for them to join that cause? If I they know want to? who that person is, if they can contact you. Right. I would, is there I, a e website well, or anything like that? 
Um, That's just already out there. You know, I know this is I, touchy, so it is because, and I I haven't gotten his permission, right. so I don't yeah. want to. I think it would be fine, okay. but I wanted to. I well, want to be respectful it, and make sure that yeah. I have that person's permission first. Let me know. We can always add it later to the show notes or, okay. or something okay. like that via text, Absolutely. so that's possible Absolutely. to do. Cool. Well, you know, Miss Smith, I almost tripped up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you taking so much, you know, the time to share this. It's a uh, you know, depending who you ask, it's a very emotionally charged subject in a lot of It is, of, and it's a, a shame that I have to be Mrs. Smith and yeah. pixeled out. Yeah. But um You look great with your pixels though. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> make some sparkles. Um but yeah, it's 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 con- it's that concerning yeah. that I do, I don't want, you know. Yeah, you don't want somebody breathing down your neck. I don't for want no anybody reason. breathing down my neck. It's already feeling right. like that. I don't want to be, you know, mm-hmm. sort of singled out. Heard. And um because I really feel like we all together as a community, yeah. this, is, this isn't my issue. Yeah. This is all of our issues. And mm-hmm. we all need to work together to, to, you know, to find a fix. Yeah. And it has to be something that works for all of us. Mm-hmm. You know, it can't just, and we have to stick together. We have mm-hmm. to, we absolutely, you know, divided, we will fall. Mm-hmm. But together um, we can continue being productive right. members of this community. Mm-hmm. Well. What I'm going to do this is also, so if anybody's watching or, or tuning into this and you do want to get plugged in, just reach out to us and maybe we can pass your contact info along to the individual that you mentioned who is kind of, uh, I don't know, taking this up or taking this banner and then that individual can reach out to them directly if they so choose to as well, mm-hmm. just depending. So that way there can be some communication and, between you everybody. Know, big so. shout out to that individual. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I don't have permission to say the name, and so I'm not going to. Yeah, no, I'm no. to be respectful Heard. about that. But a big shout out to, the, to that person who does that and mm-hmm. puts this together and keeps us all informed. I mean, yeah. that is great. That's the kind of grassroots stuff Movement. Yeah. That, that helps us know what's going on and no not doubt. have our you know, our livelihood or rights, whatever yeah. you want to call them, sort of eroded, hmm. you know, for sort of an opposite interest. Yeah, no doubt. Well, Ms. Smith, thank you so much. Great seeing you again. Likewise, and, likewise. I'm uh, sure we'll see you at uh, some of those real estate meetup, networking events, et cetera, in the future. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, thanks for taking the time to come out and talk to me. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. It. All right, guys, there you have it. Episode 64. I heard it firsthand as far as uh, the importance of short-term rentals, the home state peer, uh, you know, permits and whatnot, and all the different variables around it, and the importance that they do play for a lot of people here. So let us know if you have any questions. Reach out to us. Share this with somebody if you find it interesting, and we'll see you next week. Take care.